So how's it, how's it out there in in the streets? It's okay. Is it? Yeah, I like it. I heard um I heard dating in this day and age is like the hardest it's ever been, especially for guys. I just think people in general suck. Yeah, well I just think it's like like guys yeah. actually have to live up to some sort of standard now, you know. Well, oh, it's about just material instead of personality or spirit. I think it's how it used to be. Sorry. Uh, I think it's more so. I think it's I even know. more so cuz back then it wasn't about getting the approval of everybody else, you know. Mm-hmm. It was about I mean it might have still had a lot of wealth involved you know as a status but it wasn't about like posting it and being like hey this is who you know i'm with because and look at all this they can get for me Mm -hmm. you know back then it was just like (laughs) hey linda punk ass bitch cross the street look at my lawn it's so much better than yours Ooh, (laughs) that's the american dream yeah it really is Fuck you, Linda. Fuck you, Linda. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the uh, Southern <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, Southern Original Podcast. My name is Chase, and my name is Gannon. Oh, welcome back, Gannon. Hey, bruv. This week on the podcast, it's going to be a doozy. A little bit of a slippery slope. We got two horny couples here trying to get it down and dirty. Will they make it out of this challenge (laughs) arrive? You can find us on all uh, streaming (laughs) platforms also. Um, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and YouTube specifically. That's all of them. Mm. Um, That's all of them. And uh, we are still in the process of doing this pilky dilky lemon smoky. Mm. Um, but, you know, so, someday it'll happen. And we promise you with, you know, something. Um, a Maybe blood host. Um, and um, you can also check out our Patreon if you guys want to. Well, you must or else you will fall. Um, it is only $5 a month. <laughs> <clears throat> only, Wait, five only five dollars a month <laughs> yes chase it is only five dollars a month my guy i'm talking i'm talking next caller specials i'm talking this first chapter of this book <laughs> i'm talking um some new content that's gonna be coming out um and, but it's undecided on the exact date just yet um yeah. But you know, just gotta sit down and fucking record yeah. it. You know, I'm just fucking float the goat. Just nod and pull up the fucking goat. You know what? You know what my problem is? What's that? I rather just not do anything. Hmm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the <laughs> Sorry. truth. The truth is out. Yeah, you know how I even made all those TikToks. I haven't even been posting them. So you made them. I made them. And you haven't posted them. I've posted a few. See what happened was the last mm. one I posted, the sound got taken down. Why? Because it was the one where we were talking about uh, Fifty Shades Grey and we were just coming and our dicks are out and stuff, you know? Oh, stop being soft. T- yeah, TikTok Everyone didn't really comes. like that. You know, they allow thirst traps. What's the difference? Of like underage girls too, yeah. Exactly. What, the fuck? what is this? I mean, that can I've segue seen... right into that conversation you sent me. And well, yeah, let's let's do that. But I also want to reiterate that people who, the people who are making these thirst traps, like underage girls who are making these thirst traps, and people like <laughs> people stitching the video, being like, "This is not okay." TikTok, you need to take it down. You need to take these this kind of content down. And those videos are getting taken down, not the original videos of the thirst traps. The original thirst traps. Of course. That that's my problem with 
TikTok. It's just, it's a bad, it's a bad system. They're exploiting these, you know, young children. creators. Yeah, children. For views. Because you know there's some fucking crazy, dumb, gross, horny little motherfuckers. Hmm. That are watching that shit. But they want it because it keeps getting them views. Anyways, you wanna you wanna segue into Yeah, you wanna segue into the to the shit? Um yeah, so the so we have a Patreon and um <laughs> the we, but it's not like the Patreon we're gonna be talking about. It's only um, five dollars. It's only five dollars. But there was a group of moms during the pandemic is when it started fluctuating of selling pictures of their daughters on Patreon. And not like not yeah. like oh cute family pictures. Like R- right. Un- inappropriate pictures. Right. To say the least. And they were Exploiting their own children during the pandemic, and then because times yeah. were hard, you know, they didn't have any money. Not uh, fucking defending them in any way, but it's just like, why? Why would you even want to go to that extent? Why would you want to? Why? Why not throw yourself up there, mom? Yeah, mom, come on. There's a big milf category. I'm pretty sure. I know some guys would be into that, me included. Yeah, so it's that's that's literally what. Wait, what? <laughs> that's literally a thinking though. Like the mom is so like, oh, I would never show my body on the internet like that. I would never sell even the most desperate of times. I would never sell my body on the internet. But here's my daughter. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And then beyond that, people started like reporting this to Patreon. And they, instead of doing something about it, they just fire their entire security team all in one swipe. No replacements, just all kicked all the security team out, you know, adding to the suspicion of mm-hmm. Patreon as a whole. Well, I'm, <clears throat> it's not just Patreon. There, it's other platforms. I think OnlyFans also. Um, what's another one? Like Craigslist, I think. Facebook Marketplace, like Facebook groups. Of course, I mean, Zucky's a, behind some of this. Look at him. Fucking Zucky, bro. He is just a walking human pedophile. He's not even human. He's Android pedophile. Little, Android pedophile. God, dude, they're making those now. <laughs> yeah. In yeah, new world. Sweet baby rays. <laughs> well, that's what he Wait, wants. It's is all making order. sense. Um, Sweet baby oh. rays. That's Fuck, probably, dude. It was right, right there under the nose. whole time. Yeah. Fuck. Episode title? Sweet Baby Rays. <laughs> Sweet Baby Rays. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's That's weird. basically that's it. I mean, much. yeah. That's, like, why? Very why. Like, why? <laughs> why? Why put your kid? like what you're saying, why put your kids out there when you could put yourself, yourself out there, Mom? Yeah. If you don't times have the... are really that tough, right. that is the easiest little side hustle. Exactly. Jeez. Ugh. Or DoorDash. I'm not a huge fan of DoorDashing, but fucking do that. I, I guess you know, gas gas prices were. And it's funny how this is just now coming to light because it was happening during you know the pandemic, 2020. It took two years for this stuff to come out. Yeah. There's yeah, another they threw thing. It under wraps. Yeah, they they really did try to cover it up. But there's another thing. We were just talking about TikTok and how TikTok has like a gross, uh, like pedophile problem. There's these uh, creators who uh, like to just post like cute pictures of their or cute videos of their kids just playing in the yard, having fun. You know, sometimes they'll go for a swim. Sometimes they'll just be playing in the yard, like I said. Sometimes they're just watching a movie. It's just like they're showing their kid on the internet. You know, it's it's completely normal, completely normal stuff. They get likes, you know, whatever. But what they what some creators started to notice is that their saves, like people were saving these 
videos mm. of these these little kids. And what they want to go look at is, I guess you can look at how who's saving what and like what like folders they're putting them in or whatever, and you can see that they only are saving these like videos of these kids like and sometimes you know like i was saying some of them are going swimming so some of them are in like little bathing suits you know it's innocent it's sweet and innocent to the family to the mom because it's just a baby suit they're just fucking you know swimming it shouldn't be anything gross or like scandalous but fucking creeps on the internet are finding a way to make it creepy So that's another problem. I think TikTok is, uh, I think they do need to, like, investigate that. I think they need to investigate Patreon. They need to investigate they themselves. Need to... <laughs> Who? TikTok. <laughs> oh, what, uh, what happens whenever the people investigate themselves? Oh, uh, we, we investigate ourselves and we found nothing. No wrongdoing. That's what the police do all the time. Yeah. That's actually true. You need an out. You need an external or yeah, an external source. Private investigator. Total. Private Rorschach. investigator. <laughs> Just hire us, you know. That's true. We'll get the job done. I was, I was uh, talking to a buddy over the weekend. Actually, this is off topic a little bit, but um, we we're talking about how like HR. And, like, how HR is supposed to be the party of the worker and the business. Most of the time, it should, on paper, it should be about the worker, protecting the worker. Um, but most of the time, almost 99% of the time, HR usually only defends the company, right? They're only trying to save the money, save, save face for the company, you know? Right. Throwing the employees under the bus, right? And uh, we were talking, like, it would just make so much more sense to have an outside, like, outsourced HR department who they literally only look at the company on the surface level and focus on the employees internally. But you don't think that the CEOs of these certain companies would be like, hey, we're going to hire this guy as my boy. No, well, yeah. Well, I don't think they would do that with the outside, uh, like, HR department. Because it would have to be a massive, you know, it would have to be, like, a. they would have to have very strict ethic, ethical codes, you know? Mm. Um, but I think what a lot of times, like I said, like, you know, like 99% of HR departments in, you know, in practice right now, they are mostly corrupt and only want to work, f you know, they only try to help the company just, so i think that i think yeah. the ceo is looking at the hr department is like oh you're my guy if i'm ever in a pickle right yeah hmm. that was just like you know it was a little conversation i think it'd be a good idea but i feel like not a lot of companies would do that you know because they obviously want to just be shitty greedy people mm. nico stop yeah, it's just tough to like see the good in the system we have. Yeah, mm. you want to get into some other bad news? Yeah, dude. Um, the sky is falling. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the ozone layer? No. The hole in the ozone layer. Hey, there we go. No, we fixed it. Oh. Shame. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Um. Wait. So we. How do you fix a hole in the ozone layer? So we discovered it in the '80s, you know, and that was a big conversation. I saw this video of like some guy being like, you know, global warming's fake. Like I remember them saying in the '90s there was a hole in the ozone layer, and they never talk about it anymore. And then a guy stitched the video and was like, Yeah, it's because we fixed the hole in the ozone layer complaining about it actually worked and we ended up fixing the problem and we don't talk about it anymore because it's not a problem anymore so what was happening was we were emitting these very toxic chemicals that were polluting 
our atmosphere, our ozone layer, creating the hole. We've ozone or it. firmament? What? I'm just kidding. It's a joke. No, what, what did you say? I didn't hear the I joke. said ozone or firmament. What an idiot. You just repeated your joke. Continue. <laughs> Anyways, we banned the chemicals that were deteriorate, deteriorating the ozone layer, which it eventually gradually fixed the ozone layer. So that's why we don't talk about it anymore. See, we 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 we, we realized the problem, we solved the problem, and now we're here. We don't have a problem. Hmm. That's just you know a little good news. I, be, I but everything else around us is bad. Puerto Rico <laughs> got smacked by a hurricane. Did you see that? No. You didn't see that? No. The entire island is out of power. Every single resident has no power. That's terrible. So, wait, you said what What country was it? Uh, Puerto Rico. The entire country of Puerto Rico is without power? Yep. Yep. Jeez, the entire please. country. I forget how many people live in Puerto Rico. Um, I, I think it was, I don't want to, I don't want to guess, but our, our good buddy Adrian's a Puerto Rican, right? Yeah. Should have had him on the podcast to talk about it. Right, because he's very close with them. Well, he posted something about it today. I think he is, you know, struggling a bit. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was well, that enveloped you are, you are assuming. Yeah, he's that you know what? You know what? Assuming does makes mm -hmm. an ass out of both of us. Man, what I eat? Um, I should start looking into the Irish culture and start posting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I should do. You should really, really get in touch with the roots. Um, I should start looking into German culture and mm, a uh, lot of wait, good. <laughs> a lot of good happened yeah. in German culture. Very recent, actually. Yeah, Volkswagen. Volkswagen actually not good because Hitler made Volkswagen. Um, scientific advances. Oh, also Hitler. Yeah, yeah, Hitler. Um. Um, Mass genocide. Oh. Uh, yeah. God. Also <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look pretty great. Uh. They got Belgian waffles though. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's Somehow true. those are those are fucked up also, somehow. I don't know, but I'm sure there's something. That was actually uh Hitler's favorite breakfast. <laughs> he was very supportive of the Belgian waffle. Is Careful. Belgium in Germany? Am I, I just being I super like wrong? I, I actually don't think it is, but for the sake of the, the yeah. bit, we can just go with it. Uh, I feel bad actually now. Why? Just go. With well, it. I'm obviously not in touch with my German heritage. <laughs> uh, not. Yeah. Have you ever taken the Twenty Three and Me? No, I've always wanted Do to. Yeah, you want to? How do you get do that? You order it. Uh, can I get a side of fries with it? I think so. Sick. With the ketchup. You get the Irish package. Here's a potato. Here's a potato. Well, I, I think they'll let you know what you are. What What if you're not actually Irish? What if it comes back and you're just like 100% white? Just... The whitest of the white European, not even Irish. You're I know that I have a lot of indigenous from both sides of my family. That's the whitest thing I've heard you say. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, every white person's like, oh, I'm native. I'm, I, I'm 116th Cherokee. Well, my grandpa was half. Oh. Well, so, yeah, what were you saying? <laughs> Back the fuck up. Um, I think I am, actually, no joke, I think I am, like, 116th, like, native. I don't yeah. know what tribe or anything, but... But see, I'm not... I See, I don't, like... I don't call it out. I think the mo the majority of me is English and German. Mm. That's why I say I'm German. 
Yeah. I mean, we could we could figure it out. The twenty three and me. Um, yeah, you want to do it? Yeah, that should be fun. I've always wondered. Eleven Patreon subscribers. Dude, I hope I'm like really with someone cool, like Sitting Bull. That'd be so sick. Would you be him, or would you just be Ganon? No, I'd be related to him. Oh uh, well, yeah. I think Shiloh's related to Abe. Abe Link. That's our third. That's my well, my adopted family's third cousin. Is Abe Lincoln? Wait, hold on. Are we related? Well, maybe <laughs> Shiloh. <laughs> Wait. In my family. So you guys would be well. I mean, if I'm marrying this girl. Oh, that's true. So then we would be we'd like be related cousins. Like sixty ninth cousins. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get working. <laughs> Did you want to get into the other bad news though? I know, I know, we we kind of like pitter pattered around it. What was what was the other bad news? Um, the Little Mermaid controversy. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous! It's, Come on, guys. I feel like it's really a distraction. Because it gets all these white people just really riled up. It's getting me riled up. Like, why the why does it matter, bro? Yeah, the arguments that they're saying is like, yeah, a mermaid living under the sea, there's no sunlight, so you wouldn't be able to have as much melanin. Oh my goodness! So you couldn't have a black female <sighs> playing as a mermaid. Hey, guess what, motherfucker? Mermaids aren't real. Exactly. Not you know what? Doctor Libre was played by Jack Black. Stupid asses. <laughs> Neil, wait, what's his name? Fucking. Fuck. Who played Jesus? <laughs> oh, 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 he plays in the Patriot. What's his name? I know. It's right I... on the edge of my brain, bro. It's he's, Neil something, right? He's also Braveheart. No. Um. He's racist. Oh, what's his He's name? racist, yeah. What is his name? Bro, it is. Go to Bobby. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> Who plays a lethal weapon? Okay. I found this on the web for Who Plays Play the Weapon. No. Check it out. You illiterate. <laughs> one second, one second. <laughs> Ganon and his technology chronicles. Dude, I swear it's Neil something. No, it's Mel something. Mel Gibson. Mel, <laughs> Mel Gibson. That's right. Oh, oh man. That's funny. It's not, but it's funny. I I did see something that was funny. And it was Mel Gibson playing like Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was and like, they had that, Chris, that they, and they had Chris Pratt as Rosa Parks. Damn, why Chris Pratt? I don't know why they had to bring this man in there, but yeah, what? Yeah, <laughs> but okay. So this is this is okay. I want everybody to understand because there are certain roles that obviously need to be played by the certain race, a certain demographic, right? Like Pocahontas mm-hmm. can't be anybody else but a Native American. I'm gonna play Pocahontas. Okay. Well, you say Pocahontas. Pocahontas. All right. Pokemon. Like Moana, I think. Mm. She's like a... She's obviously the story and the plot very heavily drive from that culture. So Mm. somebody from that culture would have to play a live-action version, you know? That's why a lot of people are not okay with, like, live-action anime stuff because it was... A lot of it is originally made in Japan, and it's based in Japan, and it has a lot to do with Japanese culture. But they don't like white people playing those roles. I and it totally makes sense. But um, yeah. I mean, it 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 just doesn't make sense. And what I, the video I sent Gannon, there's there's a Christians Against the Little Mermaid Facebook group. That's so weird. The most racist stuff I've ever seen. It's just flat out racist. It's not even funny shit like Mel Gibson playing Martin Luther King. It's just the flat out most racist stuff. 
and and it's it's so funny and ironic that they have the they have the name Christians against. Yeah, that just really puts the icing on top. It's it's, it's so it's to them it honestly is like it's giving them a better feeling about being just blatantly racist. It's like, oh, but I'm I'm a Christian. I'm all loving. Fuck you. You're racist. Uh, does not help anybody at all. But yeah, guys, um grow up, you know, it's a it's a movie. It's a mermaid singing in the sea. It's not real. You know how she got that part though? You know how she got the role? What? It wasn't because she was black. It's because she could it was sing. Because she, she, it's because she could fucking sing. Yeah. The producers were like, oh, you have the best voice out of everyone else that we've, you know, brought into audition. You're, you got the part. It had nothing to do with her skin color. It was just her, her talent. And that's the big thing that a lot of other, you know, racists out there are trying to be like, oh, why are we trying to be like include all these different demographics in movies when it, it doesn't really matter it shouldn't you just be casting the role that whoever's best for that role should get that part that's literally what happened in this case and you guys are mad you know it's just it, it it's just they're not even trying to hide it anymore it's just like blatant racism just get over it it's 2022 almost 2023 and we're still having this conversation <sighs> Mic drop. People get so bent out of shape of the little, little stuff. Little stuff. Yeah, I mean, aren't there bigger problems in the world, right? Like, like climate racism. change. Like, well, I mean, they can't see that. Yeah, dude, they should definitely get over it, and they should do it fast because, who cares? Stop tripping. Um. Stop tripping. What you got to say? But, um, yeah, dude. That's really all I had. You really nailed it on the head. Yeah. Well, I, hey, man, I appreciate it. Let me ask you something. Yeah. How you doing? How am I doing? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> doing good. Doing about, good, man? Yeah. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Busy week. Busy week ahead. Lots of, uh, what do you do? What are you gonna be up to, man? Got a lot of clowning and a lot of frowning. Hmm. I don't see how this correlate per se, but here we are. Oh, see, that's that's the irony. You know, clowns are meant to be smiling and happy. Why? So but I'd be serious. F- right. <laughs> what? I, it's funny that we haven't talked, we haven't had a whole fucking superhero rant in like a, a, a fortnight you know yeah I'm trying to trying to tame it a little more yeah um, cause our content has just been all all nerd stuff right uh have you watched Atlanta at all Atlanta yeah I haven't watched the newest season but I heard the they just dropped like a final season yeah, bro. I'm, I watched Is it the, good? I've watched the first two episodes. It's so good. Oh, dude. I need to watch it. I, I watched the first two episodes this morning, actually. So good. Damn. You got time to watch shows in the morning? Mm-hmm. Um, like, when I get to school, they usually have, like, nothing going on in the first, like, couple hours of the day. Mm-hmm. We're just... Yeah. They're getting hours, realistically, but... Yeah, dude, so good. The oh, actors, hot. the actors in that show, are all so talented. It's so, it's just perfect. And like the way they do, like, kind of like spin-off skits, almost yeah. in a way, but like all like teaching a lesson throughout. So good. Yeah, I like the way that they did it. It's definitely like, it's a show unlike any other. Yeah. It's it's a very unique thing. That's why I think not a lot of people really got on board at the start. 
but I do think it's definitely grown in popularity over time. It's just because it's different. It's like something unique and people, and it's a unique story too. Like not a lot of, you know, stories are being told like that. Hmm. And Donald Glover is just a phenomenal director, producer, and actor. Absolutely. Like, like the cinematography, the settings of each one. It's so, like, the way he draws everything in. in a it, Very, like, some of them have, like, a kind of... Well, I don't want to compare him to that weirdo. But, like... I mean, I like Tarantino movies a lot, but Tarantino himself is kind of weird. Um, He's in that case. Yeah, but the way that he does some of the episodes, it like have you have three different plots going on, and at the end they all tie together, and you're like, oh wow, okay, I see now. Trippy, trippy, love it. It's, it's kind of like uh, Game of Thrones in a way. They have like f- fucking ten different stories going on all at once. But they all are connected in their own unique ways. And then at, at, towards the end, they start all coming together. And it's like, wow, that's that's insane writing. But then, of course, they butcher it at the end. Yeah. Never seen it. But, you know, now I don't have to. So thank you. Uh, well, no, you need to. Honestly, I think that's like a rite of passage. You need to like watch Game of Thrones. Have you seen Breaking Bad? Yeah, I love Breaking Bad. Yeah, so I mean, that's one of the like two main shows that you have to watch. Before what? I can become part of the Illuminati? I think so. Sick. Still waiting on my owl to arrive. Tell me I've been accepted. You're a... Uh... Illuminati, Harry. Do we know like what the Illuminati is? Who is that? Where's their where's where's their corporate building? It's in Phoenix. I feel like that's where they would be. Phoenix, Arizona. I feel like it'd be more Denver, Colorado. All right. Well, if you want to fucking throw, sh- honestly, okay, that makes so much sense, actually. Yeah, I was gonna talk it, about I was but, gonna I was gonna talk about this on the podcast. Mm. So Denver, you know, everything was built on like Indian burial grounds, right? You Absolutely. know that, yeah. And everybody that I've kind of talked to that's been here and been other places, they've been like, "Oh yeah, it's like depressing in Denver." Like, I don't know what it is. It's like, you just feel down. Everything kind of feels gray here. Mm-hmm. And you kind of get a sense. And, like, everything, honestly, bad that's happened to me has happened here. My car got hit a couple months into living here. I've been feeling sick. You know, every every month I've been just kind of, like, not great, you know? Mm-hmm. I I push through it because I'm you know, a top G. I'm I'm top G. <laughs> um, and yeah, you know, just like it, it it feels, it does feel a little just like eh, whatever. And there's that whole conspiracy with the Denver airport too. Right. That I mean that's just it, that's a rabbit hole in itself. You know, that's an entire video in itself, but. It's just, it's it's crazy, and honestly, I I wouldn't put it past you that the Illuminati is just kind of chilling out here, because I mean it'd be the vibe for it. Exactly, go get lost up in the mountains and start doing their blood sacrifices. What was that thing that like like all those political? presidents and stuff would go to they would go to like an island and it was like they would they would literally sacrifice people it was like a cult like um, ronald reagan richard nixon there's a lot of bunch of people went heads. there well, yeah they would all um it's all similar because it's like moloch the owl god oh yeah it was an owl guy yeah yeah moloch um cthulhu no um, so, but I forgot what it was called. I think it's real similar to, like, that whole, uh, that whole, uh, 
Illuminati stuff. I think they all just go kind of hand in hand, realistically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, man. It's not good. Not good. Would you ever join them? Illuminati? Yeah. If I was, like, ready to die, then I would just, you know... <coughs> You Do you I mean? think, like, maybe they're doing everything in the background as, like, a good? Like, it may, it may not be, it may not look right to us. <sighs> but they're like, all right, we actually need to do this stuff to, like, save humanity. I don't See. think so. But I feel like, what if that is, like, their motive? Mm. So what's the taking children part got to do with it? They're taking children? On that island that all goes hand in hand. Those same weird elitists that do the sacrificial practices all go out to that island. They all do that. It's all interchangeable. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the demon blood, right? Baby blood? Mm hmm. It's just disgusting. So even if, even if, and I'm saying if, with a capital I F because I think honestly no to, there would, there to, would need to, to be a, a better way right or there just doesn't need to be a government <laughs> <laughs> but that's me personally see that's why I don't think any of it's good because they're essentially just destroying everyone else around them to just say greater good there's no greater good in that you heard you here first, folks. During France, 2030, 2042. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Let us in there. We'll make some changes. First off, you're like, oh, wait, what? Why is this guy getting elected? Boom. Anarchy. We're going to figure it out as a group. No more guys up in the pulpit. If you all want to come down, we'll all talk. We'll all figure this or, out or, as or. a team hear me out because you said as a group we figure out as a group socialism no we're going to figure this out anarchist way see we're already on the same page we burn the place down and then we're like all right what's the next step maybe we should have waited before we burnt the place down but see, all you right went, i'm automatically to this <laughs> To the violence with the the term of anarchy. Oh, I know, I didn't say violence. I just said just burning it down. All men must burn, right? Wait, all men must die. Game of Thrones. There's a uh, there's a uh, saying, memento something. And remember, you must die. It's like a what's that a phrase? Memento. Hang on. Uno momento. That's Espanol. Hi. Hi, Dora. Memento de Sisyphus. Hang on. Swiper, no swiping. While Ganon is looking into this, uh, rare mystical thing. Memento. I don't know. I ain't got nothing for you. Come to my comedy show. Yeah, not doing it. We don't have a huh? we don't have a lookup guy yet. We can't just be like, "Hey, Jerry, look this up real quick." Uh, Ricky edits our. Oh wait, no, Ricky doesn't do it anymore. We fired. We we fired him. Yeah, um, Terry, Terry doesn't. He edits. Yeah, big old Terry, big tear dog. Big tear, big old tear bear. Um, uh, I can't find the word. It's a Latin expression for remember you must die. Um, so it's basically like just live in the moment. Um, Would you be down with like a universal language? Mm, yeah. I like it so. makes sense, right? You know. I mean, a universal language. I feel like America's trying to make English that. I think it wouldn't have to be English because English is honestly like a, an incredibly hard language to learn. Think the heavens. Think Cthulhu for 
making me making that my first language because I would have fucking not done it. English is one of the hardest. When I went overseas, I I came in contact. I felt with like people that knew English more so than they knew, you know, than they. Well, yeah, it's because it's it's now such a common language. Like it's almost like necessary for you to like learn that in any sort of schooling. So yeah, a lot of a lot of countries like they they start forgetting their like native language and are just going to english because that's they they tell them like you know to make it in the world you're gonna need to learn english yeah so i mean like mm, what do you mean like universal language then uh i just make up a new one there was this person i saw on tiktok who said she made a language when she was like eight and she uh and she was like like going through it on tiktok and was like yeah this still makes sense today like she like made words that sounded so smooth and elegant that it just uh, there was never an ugly word but and every word was just so simple and it it did a lot for a bunch of other words so one word could mean like five different words you know and she made it very easy and simple to use. And honestly, get in contact with her, and we just make this thing a fucking universal language. Right, because people are so willing to have other languages as it is. Well, that's where that's where Deering France 2042 <laughs> comes into play. All right, we we change the United States default language. Mm. From English to mm-hmm. Gabagool, you know it's. Ah, uh, you got me a Gabagool. Okay, I'm on board now. Is, Gab- is Gabagool a real thing? It's a type of uh, meat, but it's is like it? a slang term for a type of meat. What kind of meat? Uh, Why are we using it's, slang for meat? It's like a, um, well, it's like an Italian slang word for a certain kind of like deli meat. But it's salami. No, it's not. I don't know. We were talking about it at school. Is, is it this? lamb? No, it's not. It's not like lamb. It's like deli. Oh, deli. Yeah, never mind. Um, Shit, let's just... Prosciutto? What the hell is the Italian meat known as gabagool? Mm. Why'd you put hell in there? Keep that's what, out of that. That's what, the, that's what the Yahoo has. Yahoo questions. Everyone knows about... Oh, prosciutto. Wait, I no, was prosciutto. right. No, it's not. Prosciutto. Oh, you fuck. Everyone knows about salami, prosciutto, and bologna. Mm. Is it bologna? No. Uh, that, make, that would make more sense in my head. <laughs> Let me get some that that gabagool. <laughs> get some fried bologna? gabagool. I feel like it would have to be something that's like hard to say, and it's not very like easy to remember. And gabagool is just... Give me the fucking uh, gabagool. Maybe it's just like sausage, you know? Maybe it's just like mystery meat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, Michael Scott says it on The Office. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's how I know about it. The gabagool. They say it in The Sopranos. Have you seen The Sopranos? No, I, it's one that I definitely want to watch. What's the other one? Oh, I think that what because we were talking about Breaking Bad and uh, Game of Thrones being a rite of passage. I also think like Sopranos is also up there. You watch it? No, but I've heard it's like up there with like Breaking Bad and Game mm. of Thrones. I had a buddy in the Navy. He loved that show. He would just watch it on repeat on de- on deployment. So what yeah. kind of psych? What kind of psychopath is he? I feel like that show is just something you don't watch on repeat. Like I'm never, I'm never gonna go back and watch Game of Thrones or uh, Breaking Bad. I started to at one point. It was so good. It's a good show. Capicola. I just don't think I could. What? <laughs> Capicola. Bar- is what Gabagool Barbacola? is. No, Capicola. Who? Capicola. Is that the capitalism form of Barbacola? You are not making any sense. 
<laughs> is that just the rich version of barbacola? No. It's capicola. Just, say it again. What is it? It's meat. Capicola. It's a deli meat. Yeah, what's it from? Uh, D's. What kind of animal. Yeah, you think you're going to get me with that? I told you what it is. It's capicola from D's. <laughs> Trying to read up on it. <laughs> Thanks, Cannon. Yeah, we just hired him as our lookup guy. He's uh, our Jamie. Or it's Capicola or Copa. Copa. This is a type of. I've heard of Copa. Copa. What is it? Is it a bird? It's a type of sandwich that has been around for many years. Typically made with Italian meats and cheeses on a long roll. The word gabagola so just... comes from the Sicilian dialect, which means a mess of things thrown together carelessly or without order. So, so it is just an assortment of Italian yeah. meats. Yeah. So you, a charcuterie board could be some gabagool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all talk about it being fancy. It's just some gabagool. It's just some fucking gabagool. Gabagool. <laughs> Hey, Benny. Hey, uh, my <laughs> wife made some gabagool. Uh, hey, uh, Johnny, I don't want to be that guy, uh, but this is a chakuri boy. What are you talking about? This uh, is gabagool. Look at you, going to your fucking Ivy League schools and whatnot. Yeah. Me? I just learned from the streets. I'm a street man. Made my own construction company. But you, Vinny, you always had to go to fucking Princeton. Or whatever, Yale, or whatever the fuck. Harvard. There's no way you got into fucking Harvard. You yeah, pencil pusher. Just like your dad. <laughs> just like your father. Never knew even know how to make a cannoli. <laughs> God, dude. We haven't done Ganon's improv in a minute, but there you go. There's a little taste. Yeah, I did it yesterday on FaceTime. So be watch. Be, oh yeah! Look out for my stream coming, guys. It's coming Are you gonna actually do it? I think you should. It's a. It's. A, I think it'd be fun. It would be fun, and you don't even have to do that much. Yeah. You can just do it on the Xbox. Stream it from the Xbox. The Xbox is is like like combining with PCs and stuff. You know, they're really trying to make it like very accessible to be like. A, comp- a PC competitor, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think that's where PlayStation is really dropping the ball. Especially with that new game coming out, you should I mean, that looks amazing. Woo! Yeah, dude. Destiny Killer. Are you still playing Destiny? Uh, a little bit. Not actually. Um, I haven't played in like probably a week <sighs> or two. I don't, honestly. I'm sorry for getting everybody back into it, but it's just like. Because I got on it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to run some missions. I'm going to play through some stories. That, oh, I have, to, I have to buy the season. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll just play some Crucible, and then that's it. you know. And then mm-hmm. I can't play, like, half the strikes because I don't have half the fucking DLCs. That's the best. But I just love the aesthetic of the game. I love the grind of it sometimes. I love the customization. I love the armor. I love the guns. The gunplay is super good. I love the PvE, PvP, VE. Mm. Goddamn. Mm-hmm. It, it's a really good combination. So hopefully this new game that I... I forget what it was called. Do you know the title of it? Uh, Descendant I I, something. I think it might be still in the fucking... I got it. Don't worry. Jamie's on it. Jamie. Pull that up. Uh, it's got to play through, through the video. The First Descendant. The First Descendant. That looks amazing. I pulled it up and I'm like watching it right now. It looks so good. So it's basically just like a looter shooter, like PvE, VP. Best part for me, third person. Third person. Love that. Love that. And I think it's it's just like really customizable too, you know? I think it's it's like what Anthem was trying to be, but not you know mm. and uh yeah i think it's gonna be cool there's gonna be raids there's gonna be fucking it's a lot of cool shit 
I'm excited for it, but I think it's only new next gen consoles only. Love that. Well, actually, Love it. I, I actually do. <laughs> you do have a next gen console, so I'm gonna have to honestly. Well, I think I can just get like a Xbox Series S. I think that's what you have, right? Yeah, but I would suggest getting a hard drive as soon as you possible afterwards, or else you cannot have anything. Yeah, well, I mean, at that point, then should I just get the Series X? No, because you can literally get a one terabyte memory card or a hard drive for like thirty five dollars. I looked on Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I think I might. That might just be like my Christmas present to myself. Maybe when's it come out? Does it come out? Does it say it come out this year? Uh, let me check. One sec. <laughs> hey, Jamie, can you look that up again? Sorry, man. I I know I keep. I don't know why I'm calling you Jamie. We don't even like the Joe Rogan podcast around here. They're only on Spotify too. Did you know that? I only send the deal with Spotify. Well, I listen to my podcast on Apple. By the way, guys, that reminds me. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's not the end of an episode yet. Didn't they say, f- like, February next year? I, I feel like it would be next year. There's a ton of games coming out soon. Did you see the new Pl- Did you see the new Call of Duty? <laughs> no, I don't like trash. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, here we go. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm going to buy it. I don't think I'm going to get it the second it comes out, you know? Because it's made by... I'm I'm not, like, huge on Activision Call of Duty. Because they just, they just try to get your money, you know? And, it's just, and they don't really give a damn. But it is going to be one of the biggest games that comes out. And I just feel like it's going to take a lot of heat away from other games. So... The, the low player base on other games is going to definitely have effect on other lobbies and multiplayer and stuff. So it might just be worth it to get it. Because, I mean, Warzone's still going to be free to play, you know. And it's going to be running on this new engine. Mm. And it, lo- it looks good, honestly. It does look pretty solid. But, I mean... I don't like Call of Duty. It's so boring. It is boring, but I feel like it's it's it might it. That's the thing. That's the shitty thing about Call of Duty is that it's it rips you away. It rips other people away from other games. You know. Mm-hmm. So all the popularity, all the clips are gonna be on that game, and there's not gonna be any fun. Right. I want to make my own game. You you said this. I want to see it. I oh, need to get a PC. It, you, you know, uh, every like every time I see a free PC giveaway, I always enter. Mm. I'm always like, I want it. And then the second I get a PC, I know I'm going to do so much shit. Because I have so much shit that I want to do. Like, like what? Hmm? Making that game. I have a clothing... Uh, line I a company I want to start. Um, just a bunch of other shit, dude. It's it's all a part of the master plan, you know. I have the master plan. Talked about it on the podcast before. The podcast is actually part of the master plan. Um, but yeah, I mean, not gonna spill the beans on everything, but stay spill tuned. Spill them. Have you ever wanted a pill that? No. Makes you live forever? No. No. No, this place sucks. See, the, okay, so hear me out, though. We've talked about it on the podcast before, but you wouldn't want to travel through space with your homie? Right, because we're making such great strides in that. People are putting no. chicken in NyQuil. We... <laughs> Chase, we're not progressing. Dude, we are digressing. How, how did as... we not talk about that at all on the podcast? <laughs> I don't know, but I guess it's like a- we went this and en- we went this entire episode without talking about the chicken and night quill. Can you please explain? So, I just mind my own business. I pull up Instagram today, and then the first thing that pops up is uh, something about people getting banned on TikTok for doing this night quill. They marinate their chicken in night quill. 
marinating chicken in NyQuil. And then is it the they, cherry flavored or is it the grape? It's the grape. Ugh. It, none of it makes it better though, Chase, is the point we're trying to get so across. So the point is to just get litty titty. I don't even know because uh, you it's like making beer batter or beer chicken, you know, you're cooking out all the beer. You're cooking it all out when you cook chicken. Yeah. So you're not even really getting litty titty, you're just being excessive and weird and putting toxins in your body. It just oh it has beer in the name, it must be good. That's what I'm saying, brother mine. Hopefully they put that natty light in there. Yeah, it gives my favorite. Don't put any of that Budweiser in there. That shit is just water. It's piss water. Give me some Trulies. Give me some Trulies like a real man. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I will die. I will die on the hill. Trulies are the best seltzer on the market. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Okay, hear me out. They have variety. All right, they got the original Trulies. They have the iced tea Trulies. They have the lemonade Trulies. They have the margarita Trulies, my favorite. They have uh, the berry Trulies. I'm not a huge fan on those. They have the fucking Dua Lipa Trulies. Those were trash, but... She's not. She's not, but the seltzers were. I'll be the first one to say it. The poolside ones, terrible. I should do a truly seltzer review. Honestly, I might just fucking do it. I know there's a family that does that on TikTok. I'm going to fucking do it. I don't care. Mm. I'm going to start making TikToks. I'm going to start doing that, and I'm going to fucking rate seltzies. Oh, there's a guy that already does that. Well, he does beers. There's a guy that does seltzers, too. Also. Mm. Every hey hey guess what Gannon there's not an original idea out there. Yeah, but there's also some original ideas out there. Something original? Yeah. How about concoctions involving only seltzers? Uh, what kind of concoctions? I don't know any concoctions that would be good with a salty. Um hard liquor that's flavored. Then what's the point of the seltzy, though? Uh, For some flavoring? Well, if the liquor's already flavored... Well, it'd make it actually a drink instead of it being, like, a pop. (laughs) That's what always does it for me, it's truly. I'm like, I'm messing around here. This is, like, 5%. Well, so you're, you're drinking to get drunk, though, you know? Yeah, I don't like to feel so full from all that. I like to drink just to get the feeling of the slight buzz, you know. Mm. I don't like drinking to get fucking shit. Well, I'm not doing it to get shit. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing it to feel drunk. Like, wait. Do you do you have to drink a lot to get drunk? Not particularly. I do like I do prefer whiskey or anything else if I am drinking, but I don't even drink that much. Like that, that uh, periodically. Yeah, I took a break too, and now I'm back in my uh, Tom Fulick rate ways. I'm the fun uncle. <laughs> oh wait, was that weren't we talking about something? Um, something about NyQuil and chicken, but that was before everything else. But no, yeah, I think we, I think we talked about that. Yeah, we did, we did. Um, I think we covered that. Hey guys, don't do that. It's yeah. probably not great. It's just why you can actually make good chicken. You're wasting chicken. No one's eating wasting that chicken. No one's eating that. Are people eating it mm-hmm. for real? For real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a trend. See, that's a thing. I don't know what's up with my algorithm, but I never see these pop up. <laughs> They're like, I don't... new TikTok trend, NyQuil chicken. No, I don't get the trends. I don't even know who Charlie D'Amelio is. Who the fuck? 
mm-hmm. cares. Yeah, or Faith that, Wardway. She, not, Don't know who that is. Not, yeah, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what you said. Is that your, like, top girl right now? Uh, she's up there. She's up there. Hey, Faith, if you're listening to this podcast, which I know you are, because we're just Hot. the most popular podcast, um, the guy's single. And if it's you, so ready to mingle, please. <laughs> I don't like beaches, did- though. <laughs> we did establish she doesn't like beaches on the last podcast. Hey, let's go get a castle, though, baby. What's up? <laughs> Would you want to live in a castle? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be tight. Like an all-black castle. Damn. All right. Put some solar panels on it. That'd be fucking super nice. Because the black absorbs the, you know, exactly. the sun. Science. Science. Put Here's the... my million-dollar idea. You ready for it? Because mm-hmm. you know how, like, our water in our society and our our current infrastructure is undrinkable basically love that for us love it um so a lot of us have had to resort to filtered water right mm. brita we got a life straw filter which is fucking awesome um but the thing is the thing that they're finding out is that the filters are taking out the necessary minerals that are found in just your normal tap water because your tap water is still coming from you know like water sources you know Mm. that have these minerals in it these are necessary minerals that you need um but the filtered water is taking that out so you're just drinking the water and you're not getting the full nourishment that water is supposed to give you million dollar idea kind of like a mio type beat but you pour some flavored mineral stuff in your water so you get that full mineral you know wellness i saw this thing somewhere also well actually no i think wait so you the mineral flavored packets like like a like a what's it, crystal light type deal but minerals yeah Kind of, basically. Like, it, maybe it'd be a powder. Maybe it'd be... Have you ever had Mio? Yeah. Where you squirt it in there? Mm. Yeah, something like that, you know? Yeah. Give it a little flavor, maybe. Add some flavor. You can get the unflavored one. I don't know. You're a psychopath, but whatever. Yeah, it's unflavored for sure. Um, and it would be... And it would just be like... It would be like M-N-R-L type B. That'd be the packaging. Boom. Million dollar idea, billion dollar idea. I think it. I think it would go pretty well. That'd be sick. Maybe I shouldn't have said it on the podcast, but trademark. I that was my idea. I was the first one to say it. Time stamped it. I think that's good, right? Mm. So, mm-hmm. what's the name for it? Um, mineral. Hmm. Very on the nose. Yeah, I think so. Have you ever tried to trademark anything? No. The process is annoying. If my grandpa would have, I would have be a millionaire. Why? Uh, there's this vacuum system for barbering called a Floby. That yeah. But my grandpa actually invented it first, and he was actually using it, but he just never patented it. Or trademarked it. Mm-hmm. So then eventually this company took his idea and now they're rich. I heard the not a, it's not that sucks, by the way, sorry. No, it's, it's, it's cool, just... whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, it's... My uh my grandpa invented the cheese puff. Really? Yeah, that. he sold he sold it to some company. Look at that. We're just a couple of entrepreneurs entrepreneurs. 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 Wish a newer. Uh my grandma also made the first recipe for made right sandwiches. I think I remember you telling me this before. 
Yeah, there's a restaurant in Greenville called Made Right. Mm. The whole reason that restaurant is there is because of my great my great grandma, not my grandma. I've been there. It's good. It is f- so smacks. Good. They got a fire peanut butter milkshake too. <laughs> is that your like go to milkshake? That's my go to milkshake. I like coffee. Butter. Oh, and coffee. Yeah, coffee. Maybe if I well, maybe mix good. those. Yeah, come back. Peanut butter coffee. Oh, dude, you know what I was doing, like, last year in Florida? Where? What did you do last year in Florida? Florida, I was, uh, it'd be the crack of dawn. I wake up, I grab a cup of, cup of, a cup of cup. Mm -hmm. I put some, (laughs) I put, I pour some coffee in there. And I put some peanut butter bourbon in my coffee. Mm. And let me tell you, mm-hmm. shit slapped. But did it slap like? Mm, or did it slap like? Ah, uh. ah! Uh, it was okay. a surprise. Okay. I yeah. That. So I mean, if you guys, uh, you know, want to go down the path of scary alcoholism, yeah, that too. Um, you can try it if you want. I have to try it. I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it'll work if with the cold coffee. It will. I'll make it. It'll work. La 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 la. Can you the castle? Can you right. the castle? <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. How are you? I'm feeling okay. Feeling all right. What the ass? I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Wait. It's coming. Mm. Oh, it went away. That's weird. Oh. Anyways, uh, so it's it's the end of the episode. Um, do you want to end it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, if we're going to. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, do you have anything else you want to say? You want to talk about? Honestly, I can't really think of anything off the top of me, Noggin. All right, well, Miko, shut the fuck up. Oh. He's been bugging the poop out of me all day. Dude, I'm sorry. But, I mean, all right, let's let's get back. (laughs) Fucking podcast persona activated. Uh, so, Gannon, uh, did you have anything you wanted to add? Uh, not really. Oh, hey, uh, thanks, Brandon's Fire Dragon 420 for the donation. Um. <laughs> you should absolutely start streaming. <laughs> Sir, I'm serious. Like, you have the you have the right setup. It's just in a dark room. You can use your phone camera. Stream on the Xbox. You got your little laptop. I. Uh, it's just like it would just be a, like a chill setup. You can just be like, "Yo, Chandler, thanks for the <laughs> sub, bro." Just make fun of streamers all day. Entirely. Super- While being a streamer, that'd be super- the irony. I think it'd be good. I think it'd work out. Do it. Anyways, guys, follow Ganon's stream. He'll be streaming on. Uh, where streamer stream mm-hmm. or um, we're streamer stream you know or we're streamer stream mm-hmm. their stream yep. to stream streams yep nailed it anyways guys you can find us on apple Podcasts, spotify and youtube leave us a like leave us a comment subscribe if you like what you're hearing we also have the patreon it's only five dollars a month only five dollars that's right. It's only five dollars a month. That's nuts. And you get it. That is five nuts, to be precise. Oh, that's a lot of nuts. Dollar a nut. Mm. Anyways, mm. <laughs> you get access. You get access to exclusive content. Mm-hmm. Next caller, Gannon's book, Death Our Friend, first chapter available now. 
And we also have a new series coming out to be determined on the date it will arrive. But, I mean, hey, and we got the Pilk and Dilk. Hopefully, hopefully next episode, hopefully we sit down and we're just like, all right, let's just do it. Let's just suck her up, you know? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, I mean, hey, Gannon, did you have anything you wanted to add today? Uh, not at the top of me noggin. No, at the top of me noggin. Okay, no need to be disrespectful. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, hey, I guess we'll end it here. Uh, Terry, play the intro. I, I mean, outro. Fuck. Oh, wait, we forgot to say, we forgot to, we forgot to close this out. My name is Chase. And I was, am, and will always be Ganon. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. Well, uh, okay, now, Terry, do the outro. Mm. I love this song.